Joining me now to talk about this are Chris Goffey, who's a former presenter of Top Gear and the TV critic Kevin O'Sullivan from the Sunday Mirror. Chris, you snorted there because there have been quite a few former <laughs> presenters. So why shouldn't there be some new ones now? Well, as you say, yeah, Top Gear over the years has used a lot of people. Um, I think I hold, hold the title as the longest serving uh, ex-presenter, but um, uh, yeah, it started with Angela Rippon. Yeah. And Noel Edmonds was on it. And, you know, loads of people have been on and off. I, I always think uh, Tiffany Dell was quicker than the Stig um, in, in many ways. And you were cracking on it, uh, as I'm sure Kevin agrees, but nothing lasts forever. So is this really, do we think, the end of it? It's looking pretty bad for Jeremy this time. I mean, both him and the BBC backed themselves into a corner during his last skirmish, the N-word row, when they both publicly said, this is Jeremy's last chance. So it's hard to see where they can go with this one. Of course, we don't know the outcome of this investigation at the moment, yeah. but it does seem to me that with the statement the BBC gave to say that no one else was uh, suspended and the fact that they took the, the unprecedented step of cancelling the last three episodes of this series, mm. a massive series which, by the way, will cost them millions and millions of pounds around the world in compensation to the various countries that buy it, that this is a very serious situation. We're hearing reports the BBC investigation could start as early as this week and possibly be led by uh, BBC Scotland's Ken Macquarie. They obviously want to deal with it quickly, but the thing is, I mean, he divides opinion, but a lot of people love him. Darren Pete on Facebook says, of course he should keep his job, he's the best thing on the BBC. He just says what everybody thinks. Becca Louise on Facebook says, Clarkson for PM, he rocks. I'm not sure Prime Ministers necessarily act like he does because he was on his final warning already, wasn't he, Chris? Yeah, but that's in a way his, uh, his shtick, if you like, yeah. that uh, he, he's very controversial, uh, he's not afraid of saying things. I mean, in the very early days on Top Gear, um, he, he alienated Vauxhall by, by being extremely rude about one of their cars, and they swore blind that they would never appear on Top Gear again. Um, so he, he's always been doing it. I mean, how you know who's going to take the decision to say, um, OK, uh, the BBC is going to write, write off whatever it is, £300 million a year in, in uh, income from foreign sales? That's the, the thing. I mean, Melody says he sends out the wrong message with his appalling behaviour. He thinks he's above everyone else. And Jocelyn Stephen says no. He shouldn't keep his job. The thing is, Kevin, if he does leave the BBC because of all this, someone else is going to snap him up, aren't they? Uh, yes, I mean, there are, there's already, I, I suspect he's already s received some phone calls promising him lots of money, namely probably from Sky and ITV. ITV are developing a motoring show as we speak. Guess who they now want to present it? Yes. Uh, but, you know... Top Gear will continue because it's such a massive brand. Uh, he epitomises it. He's been the reason for its success. He'll be an incalculable lo loss to the yeah. BBC, but it will continue. But I do think this time he's crossed the line. Well, so put you both on the spot then. Who could replace him? Because, you know, I've got a clean driving licence. Yeah, as I put myself forward here. Piers yeah. Morgan has generously put himself forward. I bet he has. Uh, and actually, he'd be pretty good at the job. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of talk about Chris Evans, because Chris Evans is a car nut. Yes. Uh, well, he could just drive his own fleet. <laughs> yeah, he? exactly, exactly. exactly. He's always yes. courted yeah. the job. Yeah. Trouble with Chris is, of course, he's got a very successful Radio 2 show, and Top Gear is not a second job. It's your first job. Okay. Thank you both very much indeed.